I think it's important to inspire young females, especially in the technology industry, because again, research has shown that the females are underrepresented. So what we're trying to do in this school is we want to try and close the gender gap. And I know that's a big goal, but we feel like we should aim high. I think more females should try and get into it because it is something that you will need in the future because nowadays it's all just technology, everything's online and it's exciting because you learn new things every single day when you're doing it. It's team building, it's cooperative learning, it's working collaboratively, it's communication and it's problem solving and hopefully by the end of this year um, we'll actually have games that they can be like, do you know what, I made that. You know, you can develop a game, you can make it do whatever you want, but you just need a sprinkle of magical code to do that. I love to see that excitement and that eureka moment of, wow. It makes you really happy when you finally get it to work and you realise you can do anything. You can make characters move, you can make a game. It's, it is really rewarding. Everybody can do it if they want to do it. It doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl. Some girls have got it in their head that no, I can't do it because I'm not a boy or I think it's not for me. But they don't know until they try it and they're not giving themselves a chance to try it. Coding such a core fundamental skill that if you can get them in an early age, then hopefully the girls can then be empowered and feel, you know, I've got the confidence to actually just code and, and like change the world, which is exciting. And I know that sounds really cheesy, but like, but you totally can. If you can code, you can change the world.